selected from thousands of applicants. Dedicated gamers match skills in a series of challenges to earn the chance for a job at PlayStation. On The Tester. I'm riding in a van and the energy is just exploding out of me. It just blows my mind. Gosh, out of thousands and thousands of applicants, your boy Jay Tight made it. Oh my gosh. My life, my life is changing before my eyes. So I just really, really excited. I'm, I'm not losing. I'm not leaving. I'm number one. I definitely feel like people underestimate me, whether it's because I'm a girl or they think I'm attractive or I have tattoos or I don't look like a gamer, but I know my shit. The other competitors should watch out because I don't really give a f about anybody else here. And when I want something, I usually get it. It feels like I'm in the heart, the belly of the beast. The company that I, I spent so much time with, the majority of my life, they chose me. This is a dream come true. I wouldn't want to be anywhere else in the world. I'm trying to condone myself, but the energy is overwhelming me. Woo! Whoa! Oh my God! Hello, everyone. Come on in. Come this way. Welcome to the PlayStation Loft. Hi, guys. Welcome, welcome. I was walking in there and I saw Meredith Hello. looking hot as always. She, she stepped it up though. She was wearing some leather pleather or something. My heart exploded and it was done. The ambiance is crazy. Not just the ambiance per se, but dude, the shorties that came to this show. You got your little, little fiery redhead, little pale gothic chick always sets it off. Of course Asians are at the top of my boat. Y'all jelly. Y'all jelly and you want this too. Welcome guys. We are back for season three of The Tester. <laughs> this is going to be our biggest, most competitive season yet. Now, 11 of you were selected from thousands of applicants to compete for a chance to work at PlayStation. And one of you was scoring thousands of online fans who voted you into the competition. Congratulations, Ego Raptor. All eyes are on you. Uh. The fan favorite thing, I've got a big following on the internet. I was just kind of like, hey, people who like my stuff, you should probably vote for me on the tester. And everyone was like, yeah, let's do it. This beautiful hunk of man is a class A video gamer. We'll show those girl gamers, guy gamers can game just as good as they can. I've heard all sorts of things like, Eagle Raptor's not a real gamer. You know, they're looking at my like PlayStation trophies and I don't know, I was like, I have like two or something. I know there's a target on my back. And to be in the industry, that would be something that would, that would hit me right here. Now, as you guys know, this season, the stakes are higher than ever because we're not just looking for the next PlayStation game tester. We're looking for someone with the skills of a future game producer, someone who can stand alongside some of the most talented people in the business because the winner of Tester 3 will get the opportunity of a lifetime to work at the home of the critically acclaimed God of War franchise, Santa Monica yeah! Studio. Yeah! Yeah! Like, how awesome is that? I'm not trying to be a bitch or anything. It's just cool. Like, you wish you were here. Where you will not only be testing games, you will be working as a production associate on the next big PlayStation 3 Blockbuster. When she said, oh, you're not just gonna be a game tester, you're gonna be working on a triple A game. That blew my mind at Santa Monica Studios. And they have some really good games. But like I said, this season is bigger than ever. So if all that wasn't enough, the winner of Tester 3 will be arriving to Santa Monica Studio in style in that 2012 Ford Focus Titanium parked out front. Oh, what? Yeah. Sweet, huh? A titanium, dude, it was pimping. It's unisex, too, so it didn't matter who won it. You will not feel uncomfortable in this car. All right, now over the next eight weeks, you guys are going to be competing in some very demanding challenges, and you're gonna face some heartbreaking eliminations until one of you proves you have what it takes to join the PlayStation team. Now, your first challenge is later today. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and tonight, two of you will be eliminated from the competition. But for now, make yourselves at home in the PlayStation loft, which as you can see is no less than a gamer's paradise. 
We have welcome gifts for all of you, along with your PlayStation badges. Now, these badges are your lifelines in this competition. As long as you have a badge, you're still in the running for that job at Santa Monica Studio. If you were asked to turn in your badge, your game is over. Now, I'll see you all at your first challenge a little later today. Get your game faces on. Oh my god, I'm like a kid in a candy store. It's just like a gamer's delight. Where'd you get that bracelet? Oh my god, It's huge, it's wide open, there's PlayStations everywhere, there's TVs. The upcoming PlayStation Vita, which I have been eagerly anticipating for like a year now. Oh my god! Oh my god, I'm actually touching this in my hand, man. I'm just, I'm beaming. Ninja! Ninjanomics? Yo, you can just call me Ninja. I'm Reality Pales. You Reality can call me Pales. RP. This guy, did you say? Yes, sir. Right, Kelly's Mike, man. Kelly's Mike. Mike. I've been in the military for about eight years now. What are you laughing at? I fly security for dignitaries and, and, and VIPs. I looked at everybody, and everybody seems kind of younger. <laughs> I'm scoping them out, you know, seeing, you know, uh, what I'm up against. My plan is just, just I'm just going to sit back, observe, and, and conquer. Yo, PlayStation Network! Oh, wow! Right now. I look at this guy in, and she was making an ass out of herself. Shut up, bitch! <laughs> I have a 30 inch yeah. and I'm a chick. Here, so I'm and I was wondering if you'd like to see it. And I was just like, oh my god. He's mine. Mine! I'm sorry, I thought that we all had to be over a certain age to be on the show. Oh my god! She comes in and basically acts like the place is hers. I'm Dominican. Oh. Dominicana 100%. That's why you're loud. Yes, that's yeah. why I'm very loud. I don't think I really like this girl. Guys! Hey, guys! Let's go to the tester lab. I found out that we have a first challenge, and I just have to tell everybody. <laughs> Get off that game and let's go, girl. The moment of truth, man. Shit just got real, and we are going to walk in some fire right now, whatever it is. I'm ready. So we walk into the tester lab and we see this chair and it has a box. And the first thing I think is like Saw movie. Welcome to the tester lab. I'm getting a little nervous. The panel is just sitting there. Brent especially. He has this piercing stare. I'm thinking, oh God, I'm, I, I'm not gonna do anything bad. I promise. In each episode, you will compete in challenges designed to test the core skills required of not only a tester, but of a future game producer. Challenge winners are safe and will automatically move on to the next episode. Everyone else will be up for elimination from our esteemed panel. So let's meet them now. Our first panelist is someone you should be very familiar with. Please welcome Mr. Brent Goki, Senior Release Manager, Global First Party Quality Assurance. Hey guys, it's really great to be back. This season, you guys really have an amazing opportunity to join the production team at Sony Santa Monica Studio. So we'll really be looking for the best. I wish you luck. Our next panelist is Adrienne Curry. She's an international model, fierce gamer, and not afraid to speak her mind. So don't expect any coddling from this hot mama. She's beautiful. She was Blu-ray. The rest of the world was SD. I had a lot of fun last year playing with the gamers, and I hope to do the same this season. Oh my gosh, you you look better in person. If you was her boyfriend, she wear the pants, you wear the skirt. And last but not least, please welcome our very special guest panelist, Mr. John Height. He's a 20-year veteran of the industry and the director of product development at Santa Monica Internal Studio, where he runs all phases of game development. This is the probable future boss of me. That's right. I love you to death, man. I am really excited to be here. I know that you had to pass a lot of tests to get to this point, so that means that you've got what it takes. I'm very familiar with John Height. I know everything there is to know about Santa Monica Studios. So I'm feeling pretty confident. The first step in getting any dream job is nailing the interview. So for your first challenge, you are going to be participating in a job interview with our respected panel to see which one of you makes the best first impression. I look at John Height and like, this is a serious mother so I'm starting to get like a little nervous, like what is he gonna ask me? Sounds simple enough, right? Well, this is the tester and nothing is quite so simple. You will each take a seat in this chair and field questions from our panel. But to work at PlayStation, you must possess an unwavering ability to remain calm under pressure. I'm very good in interviews. I've never not gotten a job like after I've interviewed. So I'm like, I could do this, this, Walk a cake. <laughs> and since you'll undoubtedly be encountering a few bugs in your new job, we thought we'd kick off this competition with some of our own. 
What the heck, you know what I'm saying? Oh my gosh, like, can I really do this? That's right. You will each slip your head inside this box filled with Madagascar hissing cockroaches. Damn, how the hell am I gonna do this? I mean, I didn't even know if they bite. I, I, I couldn't, I, I didn't know what the hell to do. And it will remain there for the duration of the interview or as long as you can stand it. This the tester? Like, what, what's this guy doing games, man? Like, did I get in the wrong van and on the wrong show? This can't be, this cannot be the first challenge. The contestant that performs best in the interview and can remain calm under pressure will win today's challenge and be safe from tonight's elimination. Today's winner will also receive the soon to be released PlayStation Vita system. <laughs> Worth the bugs, right? That's a beast of a machine. It feels great. It's got two analog sticks. It's it's arguably the most powerful handheld out there. I gotta win it. Everyone else will be judged on their performance in today's interview. And two of you are gonna go home tonight. Oh my god, I can't keep composure when there's like a baby spider around, let alone like these giant disgusting hissing cockroaches around my face. Like I that's not happening. All right, let's get things started. Any volunteers who wants to go first? Asha Chin, your hand was up first, nice. I put my hand up first, I'm like, hold up, I'm like, ah. I was like, oh, hi, hand, how are you? You know, it's gonna be cockroach time in like 10 seconds. You're cool with that, right? I'm like, this is not the time to ask yourself this, you're already here. All right, Asha Chin, you're up first. The rest of you can head back to the PlayStation loft and prep for your interview. I'm thinking, like, hey, you need to learn to step up and put yourself out there because you know, no one's gonna see you unless you take the first step. All right, Ash Chan, please come take a seat. I was like, take a breath, because it's going to happen. There is nothing you can do about it. It felt a little bit like a horror movie. All right, if at any time it gets to be too much for you, you can raise your hand and say, this interview is over. Breathe, they're coming, they'll be in there, and that'll be it. A little intense. So let's bring on the bugs. I'm like, you know, they're coming. Hold up, they're coming. Do you feel the bucket? I'm just not trying to die. It's like, oh, my fro is in the way. You guys are gonna make a nest in there because that's what you would make a nest out of. So tell me, Ashkin, what's your current job? Right now, I work at the Omni Hotel as a hostess. Like, please, you know, you're gonna poop, but just don't poop in my face. That was the only thing I was like thinking about when I was in there. Tell me about the strengths you have and what you think you'd be able to bring to the PlayStation family. I think I mainly can bring in lots of positivity and optimism. I felt them everywhere. I'm like, bugs, legit. I'm like, how did you get down there? Who are really genuine and honest and who really understand that we have the universe as a whole here and that- I think we're gonna go ahead and wrap this interview up. Lovely. I was thinking, how am I gonna get my head out? They're gonna fall all over my body. And then everyone picked everything off of my body. <laughs> End of story. Let's bring on the bugs. I have no problems with cockroaches. I've eaten one. It's no contest. This is gonna be easy. I can't freak out. I can't do anything. I just have to deal with a cockroach right in my eye. Asuka, what do you, what do you think your strengths are? I'm very stubborn. Like, I'm not gonna quit no matter what happens. Especially. That definitely caught me off guard. Ooh, they smell kind of funny. That was a significant amount of bugs. That's all I needed in there. What do you think your strengths are? Level design. I have a thing for finding places where you could place good cover. Man, as I'm banging out them questions, the whole time these things are all up in my face. Do you have any other hobbies outside of uh, gaming? Ooh, I like to collect Yu-Gi-Oh cards, etc. Card I'm answering uh, everything I could to the best of my ability. I felt like everything was on point. Do you live with your mom? Yes, I do live with my mom. First thing I think of is uh, they're gonna bite my eyeballs out. I put my head in it. Are they gonna attack the face immediately? Will they rush me and start going over me? Will they eat me? Will they bite? How sharp are the teeth? How long are the teeth? I can't see them, but they must be hungry. Will they go in my brain? Will they lay eggs in my brain? Will they create a whole new planet in my head? Will there be a whole universe in my brain full of hits and cockroaches? So do you play a lot of PlayStation games? Whoa, well, yes, I sure have. I felt another bug freaking crawl on my eye. I kind of felt it trying to get in the juices the juices of my eye to suck good nutrients, but I had to stay focused on the question and task at hand. Such as? Such as the God of War series. Infamous series is my number one favorite, the Twisted Metal series. Oh, I can't wait for the new one. 
The bugs are now my friends. They are now obeying me. I am using psychic telekinesis power to calm the bugs down. So why do you want to work for PlayStation? I want to work for PlayStation because I have an imaginary brain <laughs> and I feel that it's cool for the world to experience my imagination. I hear Matt hissing, but I zone him out. Do you currently have a job? I am a master barber. I was scared, but I was Beastmaster. Well, thank you very much. We're here, uh, done with this interview. Bring on the bugs. I want to show these guys that I'm, I'm confident. I was hoping that he didn't drop it in too fast, because, man, if I would have got one of those things in my mouth, I, I, don't, I would have freaked out. My friends. What's going on, y'all? What are some of your special skills outside of gaming? I actually used to be a contortionist and a fire blower. Very hot. It felt strangely like a proper interview. Did you ever have an accident as either a fire blower or a contortionist? You lose some eyelashes and some eyebrows sometimes, but it's nothing big. It went so well that I was kind of contemplating maybe my next interview. Come here. I'm just going to bring him with me. I really wanted to piss my pants because I am really scared of bugs. Tell me what your current job is. Right now, I'm currently unemployed. I'm going to have to overcome my fears with these cockroaches and man up and show them this is why I'm here. How are you feeling right now, Jay Tight? One of them is in my ear hole. Mm. Is it saying anything to you? Remember, with the task at hand, don't run off the thing with the box still on your head. Why do you want this job? Because it's my dream. It's my dream job, just to be working for PlayStation. PlayStation is the bomb. I'm getting my family from, from the ghetto to a better living. What makes you mad? Oh, shit, someone bit me. <laughs> right now, nothing really, but oh my god, this is biting the shit out of me. Ah, ah. What do you think the biggest strengths you'd bring to PlayStation? Just being able to focus on the tasks on hand. And I what I had to do was just stay focused on the panel. I eat shit, dream, sleep, PlayStation. No job interview on the planet, to me, is never going to be that hard. Woo, 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 woo. Let's bring on the bugs. My gut dropped, like, I think out of my body. But I think, hell no. There's no way I'm just gonna be like, oh, sorry, peace out. What is the most embarrassing thing you've ever done? It was one of the first times I had ever hung out with a guy that I ended up dating, and I let out a silent fart. As soon as I shifted my weight, I was like, oh my God. And then he just looks at me like he's gonna throw up. I go into a lot of detail about my most embarrassing moment. Everyone knows that silent farts stink, but. I realize maybe going so much into vivid detail is not the best idea. I wait a couple months before they even poop in front of their boyfriend, let alone almost shart themselves in their car. Well, thank you very much. We're uh, done with this interview. I think I was overcompensating for the fact that I really was very nervous, and, and then I realized, holy shit, like, I shouldn't have, like, acted that way. How did you get chosen for the tester? I make videos on YouTube.com. Man, people eat it up. What do you think is going to make you stand out within this competition? I think I stand out because, uh, I'm funny, I got an audience. Uh, I think I'll, I'll, I'll pull in the watchers, you know, I'll pull in the viewers, get a lot of new fans from here. Are you here for the attention or are you here to actually win the competition? A little bit of column A, a little bit of column B, you know, uh, after the prize package was announced, oh my goodness. But uh, I'm cool, I'm calm. The bugs, not a problem. This is nothing. So how many trophies do you have? Oh my gosh, uh, I believe I have 14 trophies. Do you even own a PS3? Yes, I do. There's no smiles, there's no chuckles or whatever. Uh, I actually play a lot of games at Friends. And at that point, I'm sweating a little bit. All right, Ego Raptor, I think we're gonna wrap this interview up. Maybe it didn't go as well as I thought it did. I'm actually a store manager for GameStop. What makes you want to work at PlayStation? I'm a big PlayStation fanatic. Like, if people come in and they're like, hey, do I want a PlayStation or an Xbox? We're not supposed to lean one way, but I usually go for PlayStation. It's good to hear. I can handle pressure. I am a great team player. I'm a hard worker. I came from nothing. I came to this country to get a great job because I know I can do it. If you guys were to ask me right now, a studio that's under Sony Computer Entertainment, I'd be able to list their games. I'm really starting to realize how much is at stake. I got to win it. Gorilla Studio. Killzone. Bring it. Come on, you could do better than that. Lightbox. They are a new studio under Dylan Job, and they are working on Starhawk. Good. Q Games. That's under Dylan Cuthbert, and they make all the Pixel Drone games. I just had to focus on them, make eye contact, and give clear, concise, awesome answers. Thank you very much. All right, thank you guys. Life. Appreciate it. Who's ready to go home? Uh, ah, not me. Yeah, bro. What's up, bro? Yeah. Yeah. Welcome back. 
Welcome back, how was it? The cockroaches were not important at all. It was really just the questions they asked. I had one under the, one under here. I had one on the do-rag. The front of one landed right on my lip and I was like, the, the tension is building, the nervousness is building. Nobody was having any, any issues as it seemed as they were coming back and explaining their situation. I'm actually kind of worried now because it really is a matter of like, who kept their cool the most. I just figured this kind of challenge would really turn some people off. Um, but everybody seemed like it wasn't a problem. There's no like, you're obviously going home, you know, you are the one. They were drilling me on not having like a, as many trophies as I should. Did they ask you anything that made you feel like you said something wrong? It was just self-doubt and hoping that other people did worse than I did. I'm thinking, they're gonna call my name. I'm going home. Going into elimination, not just suspense is killing me. I did the best I could to my abilities, and I feel that the other contestants did a little bit better than me, and I feel that I am gonna be up for elimination tonight. I'm really scared. I'm feeling super anxious, super nervous. I did drop the, the shit bomb a couple times. So I'm, I'm hoping that, you know, even though I was over at the top, hopefully the panel did get to see my personality shine through a little bit. Good evening, gamers. Welcome to your first elimination. Tonight, two of you will be asked to turn in your badge, ending your quest for the golden opportunity to work at the world famous Santa Monica studio as a production associate on an unannounced AAA PlayStation title. Today's challenge tested your ability to nail an interview and remain calm under pressure. Let's turn to the panel and hear their first impressions based on your interviews today. Well, for starters, I think we were all impressed with just your guys' composure. All you guys were able to deal with the cockroaches well. Most of you did well enough to keep your dreams alive for another week, but you didn't wow us enough for the top prize. One person did come in with a lot of confidence, almost a little borderline on cockiness. But during their interview, when we threw questions out, they just knew it right off the bat. Any question we had showed PlayStation knowledge. We all kind of agreed unanimously on who the winner of that was. Reality pales. My heart just melted. I was so excited. I am so stoked. Congratulations, Reality Pales. You are safe from tonight's elimination and you are the winner of the soon to be released PlayStation Vita system. I'm also just one step closer to that, to that dream job at Santa Monica Studios and it is such a phenomenal feeling. Now let's find out how the rest of you did. First impressions are super important when you're in a dream job interview and there were a few of you that we believed kind of dropped the ball. Igor Raptor, when we asked you why you were here, you pretty much admitted that it was all about appealing to your online fans. I'm funny, I got an audience. Uh, I think I'll, I'll, I'll pull in the watchers, you know, I'll pull in the viewers, get a lot of new fans from here. You seem more excited about the prize than working at the studio. I should have known, I should have known, because they were really drilling me. I'm sweating a little bit. You got the votes from your online fans, but I'm just not sure that you've really got what it takes to be part of the studio. We're gonna get back to you in a second. Asichin, I thought it was awesome that you jumped up. You uh, raised your hand, said you were the first one to go. I was like, cool, we're in for something special here. This girl's ready to go for it. But after we went through everyone's interviews for the elimination, I said, I don't really remember much. Nothing really stood out. I have not heard that before. I, I have to agree with Brent. Like, though you were cool, calm, collected, and very professional, it, it didn't stick. Really? Because usually I get, okay, too much, bring it back. I think they missed me. I think another one I wanted to kind of note was uh, Quaji Monster. It was an interesting interview, uh, to say the least. I thought that you didn't really have much of a filter. You know, it, although it's obviously a challenge, there were some things you said during the interview. I don't know if I would have elaborated on myself. F-bomb here, cockroach there. So that was a big surprise. I just can't believe that, you know, this is the first day, this is my only chance, and I blew it. This is gonna be it for me. I'm into expressing myself very vividly, and as are you, but there's, as I've learned with age and losing jobs and many other things, there's a time and place for everything, so, you know, we're at this standstill, whereas, you know, we have one girl who shocked us with a little too much, and one who may have shocked us with a little too little. So which is worse? 
I was like, oh no, I'm totally going home. Like, that's it. Because it's always easier to pull someone back than to push them forward. It was tough, obviously, but I think, um, Astrochen, I'm sorry. You didn't stand out, and so your game ends here. Asha Chan, please turn in your badge. I was like, damn, all right. Thank you all so much for a lovely opportunity. What you gonna do about it? Can't pitch a fit, not gonna like take the place down. There's a reason that the universe works the way that it does, and I can't really be too upset. My next step is going back to doing what I normally do, which is running cons, voice acting, and just generally being a super nerd. Ego Raptor, I know a thing or two about shameless self-promotion. It's what I do best in life. But there's always a time and place for everything, and I don't know if this is the venue for you to use. I'm very curious. Obviously, you've talked about promoting yourself. I mean, what have you got to say for yourself? I want to be an entertaining part of this show. That being said, that's not the only interest that I have. My first thought is, be honest. Don't bullshit them. Don't try to justify something that wasn't right. When I mentioned that I was excited about the prize, it wasn't, you know, the car or the money or the TV. Those are, you know, I mean, the car was a big surprise, but the prize I was surprised about and most excited about was the production job. I thought this experience was going to be very different. And uh, standing before you all, uh, getting advice from you, it, it's, it's very humbling. Initially, I came in here thinking, you know, it was going to be fun. Deep down, you know, I really want the industry job. So do you think that you would be valuable if you stayed here? I have a lot of experience already in game making, as well as uh, game analysis. And I think I have a unique view on what makes games good. And, and I'll try to move forward and try to grow from this. It's hard to read the panel. I feel like everyone's kind of staring daggers at me. If they send me home, I understand. So. You guys agree? Well, Eagle Raptor, you know, our intentions was to get rid of two members tonight. You've kind of spoke up and given us your two cents. We appreciate that. Obviously, you were voted in by our online viewers. There's 10 beds in the loft. There was 12 of you, and now there's 11. I'll let you stay. You can have a spot on the couch. But, you know, we weren't overly impressed. And your fans, they won't save you again. Thanks a lot. I, I appreciate that. I'll, I'll make you proud. I feel like they gave him a second chance because he was the fan voted contestant. It, it, it seems totally unfair. But at the same time, I do feel that everyone does deserve a second chance. And I do respect the panel. Congratulations, gamers. You are now all one step closer to Santa Monica Studio. Bring your A game if you expect to remain in this competition. We'll see you all at your next challenge. The panel gave me a chance, and I intend to make them proud because I want to win this and I want to prove that I'm here to stay. Next week on The Tester. The first person to defeat their boss enemy in the brand new Twisted Metal will win the advantage for their team. Oh! Not only does this game look just straight sickening, now I'm like, holy shit, this girl can game. <laughs> For the challenge, we get clown clothes. This is going to be ridiculous. Please welcome our guest panelist, Mr. David Jaffe. That's bomb right there. Not only did he do Twisted Metal, he did God of War. Wish I had some clown makeup. You guys look awesome. They don't get no sweeter than that. I do it for you, David Jaffe. Put those off. Take those off. For today's challenge, two members from your team will assemble a small ice cream truck. Calm down. Speak English. Run it, run it, run it. Hey, that's the windshield, homie. That's the windshield. That's the windshield. If we lose this challenge, that's going to look really bad on our entire team. Frankly, I think you all failed. It was just a question of who failed the most. You went so fast that you built a crappy product. You did say you've built houses? That's crazy. I mean, really? That's bullshit. You were the worst of the three. Your game ends here.